I also got these placemats a couple of years ago in IKEA and uh, I have cut them up and there was also some small coasters so I won't be using the big one but I think we I will try to see what I can make with this so again I will put some black paint down here what you get that's the exciting thing about this I think this is enough uh, and we have this off-road sheet. I think I will try to put it on there and see what happens. And I will do it ever so light, just only kissing the plate. Yeah. That is also a good print and again there's much left here on the plate so uh, let us see if we can make another print let's nearly into this one Take some wet spring tissue. Whoops, I will just remove that. And let it sit for a little. Yeah. I will let it sit a little. Let's see here. Yeah. It's also a nice print. As you perhaps has discovered, I'm not a person who likes to use bright pink and bright purple. I'm more into the muted colors. But you can use any kinds of colors for this. It's up to you. Yeah. I have these two things here. This one is for ice cubes. And you can say what is ice cubes doing on the dinner table. Before, maybe you have a before dinner drink with ice cubes in it. And this is a pot holder. Not to get your burn your fingers. And they have a small squares so I think I will try to use them <laughs> oh, 
how about doing it on black paper and ah oh, this is the one again and black paper and gold is also it's a nice combo but perhaps I will take this uh, yeah just then bronze instead let's try that so again I will do this side and this side and the one in the middle perhaps it was a little too much paint it off. That's uh, always the big question. How much or how little paint. So I will take this here and press it down. And this thing here and press that down. And uh, be careful not to slide around if you have a good amount of paint. It is a little difficult for me because I'm always, when I'm doing this uh, private, I'm always standing up doing it. And now I have to sit down here to do it, so uh, it feels a little awkward for me. Like paper. I will let it sit for a little and be back. Let us see if it looks okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks quite nice. I'd rather like to print on black paper. With the, especially with gold and bronze that looks so nice this is a good print and again i won't use it like this i will typically take a, a piece of it and use it in my collage if you are having a party or celebrate something and it's a big place with long tables you can buy here in denmark some long strips for decoration you put in put it in the middle of the table and this is this sort of thing is yeah, I don't know what it's made of but it's some plastic this is also such a thing and also this is such a thing and they are quite nice to print with but since I have this roll-off sheet I think it would be nice with some black spider web on it and this would be perfect for that so I will take again again my black paint and a new roll of sheet here. Yeah, I'm in frame, yes, yes. Move some black paint out here. it is best to use tissue paper for this so you can really get in the all the holes and lift the paint up but uh, we'll see I can always take it tissue paper and do it if this is what isn't working Up it a little further. Let's see if I've got the most of it up. 
yeah, I think it's okay. Let's put it down here, perhaps. And up here. Yeah, I think it's okay. So now we have this nice printed. This was also a roll off sheet. So I will remove this and quickly put this other roll off sheets sheet on here and see if I can. I hope it, the paint wasn't too dry, but let's see. I will let it sit for a little. And let's see if it's ready. Oh yeah. Again, a nice crunchy paper. Let's try this one and this one. I have some grey paint here. I haven't tried before, so let's try this. There's more leaves. It's right here. Sitting there. How annoying. I will take, I have some black tissue paper, it is, a little wrinkle, oh, a little wrinkle, but I don't think that matters, so I will put that on here, let's see, I just got me a pair of new shoes for my birthday, and this she was in the shoe box, so I save all kinds of papers. Perhaps there wasn't enough paint on here. Yeah. Oh, nailed that. That's look looks nice. Yeah, yeah. two things here yeah. and let them dry and I think I will oh there this is another thread here I would let them dry and lift them off with gold yeah I think this is dry enough so I will get my gold the smear gold here piece of paper and let it down, lay it down here and let it sit for a little. I really love these roll-off sheets. You can never sit down and think you should make this, but I really like those sheets. <laughs> I think this is going to be a long video because I still have some things left, but let us see if I can cut some of the rubbing and drying time off. So. This wine and gold is also very lovely. I like that. Yeah, this is also a placemat, so let's try this one. I 
as you can see I have used the same colors in all those prints I made today and um, that's because I think I will make something with them and then it's this nice and you can see it is coming from the same batch or the same jelly printing session so the thing I will make will be cohesive and I will have to push them here and then I will really Press it down. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this looks funny. But let's see. This would give a nice print. Oh, it's all for nothing. No, it's not for nothing. You can always use it for something. I will try this placemat. I don't know why man, you make a placemat like this, as all your crumbs and everything will go down in the hole. So <laughs> I think it is a misunderstood thing. Oops, that's a lot of paint. But uh, let's see if it works here. Again, I will press it down and I will take it. Sorry for my arm on the here. But... You can see here that, that it's really nice to have tissue here because you couldn't get in the, in the holes because it is a big plate. Hello. It is perhaps too high. I really don't think this works. Yeah, there is some kind of pattern, but I think I'll try to move it out again. And then put it down and With that. Now I think there's more paint on me than on the plate, but uh, let's see. Yeah, there is something here. And I will take this roll off sheet and put it down here and see if it works. As you can see, you can use all kinds of things, and I haven't even begun with glasses or plates or forks or spoons or whatever you have on your dinner table. But there are so many options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From just being a roll of sheet, this has been a, this is a, a nice print.
The last thing I want to show you is you can use your chopsticks uh, from when you're eating sushi. And um, I like to use them in this way. I put two different paints on the plate. You could also have done it this way. I mean, as a, this way, one color and one color. So, but now to be in frame, I have my plate this way, which also is a little different when I'm printing myself. And then I take the end of the stick here, and then I move it around here. Oh, yeah, you can do all sorts of things with, with it. You can make circles, so, yeah, it is only your imagination. So, yeah, I up there. So a great print. When you're done jelly printing, you can let the leftovers be on your plate until next time. And once in a while, I like to to try to clean it somehow. And one of the ways you could do it is by using um, this Titan buff from Golden. It is really good to get all the grunge of your of your plate. And also using the kind of papers that's, that's called glassine. They, they, this kind of paper is really good lifting. The last crunch of the plate. So I will show you this. I have a piece of it here. It is uh, shiny, shiny, and really glittery. I don't know what is the purpose of the pulp papers, but it is really good. And then I will let it sit for a couple of minutes, and hopefully your plate will be clean. You can also use uh, clear packing tape and take all the grunge off and once in a while when my plate gets to dry I also like to give it a little baby oil and just a, small, a couple of small drops and get it around the plate and let it sit until it gets in the plate but I will let it sit let's see if the plate is clean You can see some of the earlier prints left all paint from them and it is really nice and you can see oh my love those prints yeah the only thing that's not it's the edges and i will just do like do it like, like this take them off so, and also my brayer really needs a good clean. But um, I don't know how long this has taken me, but in a short amount of time, I have managed to get a lot of prints from different things from your dinner table. I will take some close-ups of the different papers, and in a week or two, I will make a video where I use those papers for something. I hope you like the video and you are inspired 
to go hunting in your own home to find things you can print with. And remember, not every print is a masterpiece, but you can always use it and do something more with it. So, um, I would say bye for now. Take care, be creative. Until next time. Bye-bye.